All right, hello. Uh, I am here to do a little, <clears throat> a little tour of uh, a sketchbook I just finished, rather, a, a watercolor journal. I don't know. It's it's a book that I made art in. Uh, I finally finished it. I don't think I've really finished a sketchbook like maybe ever. Um, this is one that I made myself. Uh, we've got some lovely duct tape on the front. Um, these are stamps from England. Yep, we've got Edinburgh Castle, so Scotland. Um, actually, yeah, so these are from Scotland. Uh, yep. Uh, we've got a little pizza from Maylee. I believe Maylee did that. Uh, and this place that I get stuff for my hermit crabs. It's kind of kind of faded, but it's a Hermes Kitchen sticker because they rock. They make my hermit crabs very happy. Uh, and <clears throat> yeah, I just covered it. I don't know what all this sticky stuff is. Like, where does that stuff come from? Never knows. It's like eraser or something that just gets stuck on things and yeah. Anyway, so let's uh Let's take a look here, hey? Uh, first page is a few birds that I drew. Uh, I was watching this movie called When They See Us, I believe is the name of it. Um, yeah, When They See Us, and it's about the Central Park Five. Um, I'm not gonna go into all that, but uh, it's a pretty moving film. <clears throat> and uh, this is a quote from uh, one of the mothers in the movie. Um, I don't know, I, I just wanted to draw some parent birds thinking about their little baby bird. And uh, really just doodles, I don't know. Just one of those days I just sat down and watched a movie and doodled. Uh, some lines in the background for texture. Uh, yeah, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's over now, my, my throat stuff, I think it's over. Uh, this is some watercolor pencil, um, I'm not a really big fan of that, could have done something a little different there. I like the noses though, I like, I like the kind of contrastiness going on there. Uh, yeah. And the second drawing, a little spaceship over, uh, like, Venus or something? I don't know, it's definitely not Earth. <clears throat> and some gunk. Yep, this is gouache. Ink. <clears throat> and some watercolor. Yeah, and uh, I think some paint pen there for the, the fire coming out of the, of the spaceship there. <clears throat> yeah, I really just wanted to do some uh, orange and bluish contrasty something or other, and that's what came out of it. <clears throat> we got some birds. This is also gouache uh, ink for the background. Maybe some watercolor back here. Uh, and then I'm an idiot and I'm colored over this with colored pencil. I guess it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. It just kind of doesn't, doesn't really flow, but whatever. Uh, happy birds. I don't know. They're just, just hanging out. I kind of rushed their feet, maybe? Uh, I'm not a big fan of their feet, but it's whatever. It's just a sketchbook. Uh, this was kind of cheating. This was done on... What is that? I don't even know what kind of paper that is. I think maybe this was hot press watercolor paper, which I can't get the hang of, so I just did a pencil drawing on it. Uh, and then pasted it in my watercolor book. That's how you get stuff done. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know what he is, but I like doing his little fins, like the shading on his fins, and his little sleepy eye. Uh, definitely ink for the background. <clears throat> um, the stippling I did for these circles was these Steedler, Steadler pens. They're really fine point. Um, great for stippling and detail work. <clears throat> uh, we got this guy. This little sunset thing over some bubbles in a sea. Uh, watercolor and ink as usual. I think there was also some colored pencil for the bubbles. It's kind of rubbed off from this other page as it does. It's kind of hard to avoid unless you put like a film or something over each drawing when you're done with it. But it immediately gets kind of crazy. And I guess it kind of adds to it in this case. Like, kind of adds some some depth, depth, depth to the bubbles that maybe wasn't already there. This kind of bothers me. I feel like there should be part of the sun there, but I definitely did try to put it there and it just didn't, so I don't know, it still feels like it should. That's okay. <clears throat> We've got some toothy dudes. Uh, this is just me wanting to draw circles one day. Uh, gave it some teeth and some red lipstick. Like usual. Uh, I think I named this one Accidental Dentist. Sometimes I'll name my drawings. Not often, but... Uh, I don't think it's Accidental Dentist. What is it? I don't know. Something Dentist. Um, but yeah, these dudes are just like... Checking each other out. Like, you say ah, no, you say ah. Like, you know. Let me see your teeth. No, you. Ah, I don't know what this guy is, but he was fun. I just wanted to draw some lumps and turn it into a bird. Um, and of course, draw circles. Sometimes you just need to draw some circles and get it out of you, you know? It's just how it sometimes has to be. <clears throat> uh, this is maybe some gold pen. I'm really into... Where are they? Yeah, it's this one. I've used the crap out of this pen. It's just a regular old... Ultra Mark. It's probably the ch one of the cheapest metallic markers you can buy. Uh, the tip's a little frayed, but I still use it. It still works. But yeah, I like to outline things in that pen sometimes. That's what I did for his wings. Um, maybe gouache for the back? No, this is paint pen. This is Posca pen um, on top of watercolor for the stripes. Mm hmm And uh, probably just watercolor and gouache mixed for his body. Um, this is just a plant that I saw in a book, or, uh, you know, a mushroom plant. A mushroom. Um, I was really in love with the... Uh, orangey redness that kind of fades into itself and I wanted to try out these dots that I saw. So this is definitely not my original idea. This guy is literally in a book somewhere and I copied him. But it was good practice. Again I just wanted to practice these dots because I thought that was so interesting to give it depth, uh, to like give it texture. 
I wanted to try it out. Uh, and I think this is also the first one that I did, yeah, the first one that I did with my new watercolors. Um, what are they called? Uh. These guys. Uh, why is the name? Oh, Mission Gold Watercolors, yeah. Yep. It's the first one I did with with those new watercolors and I just really wanted to get down and dirty with all the new hues and stuff I had to work with. Uh, I think I was watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off when I drew this. I vaguely remember that. Uh, we've got a koala here also from a book. <clears throat> it was uh, the um, Welcome to the Museum series. I got a couple of their books and was just drawing some of the things that I saw in those books because I really like the art in there and just wanted to do some practice. I had fun with his nose and his ears, the ear fluff. Mm -hmm. These dudes, uh, this was an Inktober prompt, I believe. It was probably balloon or something like that. <clears throat> and, of course, knowing me, <laughs> I gave them my teeth. Uh, had some people get, like, I don't know if annoyed is the right word at me for doing so many of these dudes with teeth, but I don't care. I like them. Um, definitely watercolor. Watercolor and ink. All the way through. Uh, probably another Inktober prompt. I don't remember what it was. But these guys are not having this guy. I was kind of experimenting with with depth in, in the coral here, trying to make the stuff in the background look like it's receding and the stuff in the forefront being lighter. We're doing tons of layers and trying not to overdo it on the back. And I found this thing somewhere. It's like, I guess it's a piece of coral? I'm not sure what it is, but... Uh, that was fun to draw. And so is his hair. I really loved his hair. Hairy fins. Yep, bunch of nope fish. Uh, this one got a lot of attention. I mean, I like it, but it's like, I don't know. I don't think it's my greatest. You notice that sometimes drawings or work that you're not really crazy about, uh other people go crazy for or like really really like and you're just like I don't get the appeal but thank you <clears throat> yeah this one got a lot of attention on Instagram um, ink and watercolor I mean it's pretty I like it but no offense I had fun with this moon. I kind of tried to give it some moony texture with some darker yellows. Uh, and then like some white in the middle. <laughs> kind of playing around with moon textures when I draw moons lately. Yeah. I think this is the one that kind of started me doing a comic-y style. Um, I think it really started with, like, 
bleeding onto other pages, so I had to do a border. And then from the border, it just became sort of comic y, comic um, style, regardless of whether or not there's actually text in it. Uh, this one was inspired by an artist I saw online. I was trying to, this was definitely an Inktober prompt, uh, for the word elf. And, uh, I googled the word elf and I found, or I, I think I googled elf bird and it came up with elf owls, uh, who live in the desert. Uh, and I found this artist, I forget his name, but he does a lot of, uh, like, desert sea life illustrations. Um, so this is kind of like a draw this in my style of something that he did. Uh, I really love his work. It was really hard to not draw straight from what I saw because it was really adorable. Um, yep. Yeah. All watercolor and ink. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, I'm guessing that the prompt was spider for this one. Just a bunch of spiders floating around. Uh, daring people to mess with them. It's almost like all of these guys are this one's babies. Cause she's back in her web and all of her babies are floating out into space to go about their own lives. Just a theory. This one I had a lot of fun with. Um, this was Tower, I believe. The word Tower for Inktober 52. Um, I drew some little mushroom houses. These were gouache, because I wanted to make sure these little bubbles popped off of uh, the houses. Um, this is right around the time all the COVID stuff started, so uh, I kind of incorporated social distancing into this one, because they're both in their own little areas. Kind of sad and alone. Poor birds. But they've got these cool slides, like, what sick houses. I would really enjoy living in one of these little mushroom houses. Again, trying to bring these parts of the grass forward and make sure there's, like, the, the, uh, suggestion of all of this going backwards. Maybe. Oh, I had fun doing this one. Um, sometimes I just want to do a pencil drawing, you know? Uh, and I think that there was also like a lot of splotchiness on this page, so I just had to... really had no choice but to paint it black. Um, excuse the sirens. Uh, elephant was maybe the prompt for this, and uh, there's literally an elephant bird, or there was, it's extinct now. Um, it was bigger than an ostrich, so it was literally the biggest bird ever to live on the planet. Uh, and it's actually distant cousins with the kiwi. So I drew them kind of opposing... We're on opposing sides, looking at each other like, Hey, cousin. Funny seeing you here. Yeah, all pencil. Well, this was fun, too. I was kind of going through a thing when I did this. <clears throat> Just wanted to make note of what made me happy and what didn't so much. Uh, 
It's kind of like a journal for myself, I guess. Little bird brains, thinking thoughts. Sunny days, new music, being pleasantly surprised, a good story, friends you can count on, making and sharing art, a fresh pot of coffee, comfort food, favorite sweaters, and of course a good old eight hours of sleep. Anxiety, bad dreams, corrupt politicians, social injustice, body image, body aches, road rage, that dumb thing I said, uh, the cost of living, indefinite social distancing, which we're still, still dealing with, uh, and credit card debt. There's some big things that might cause one to kick themselves or others. And we've got our little lovebirds here. Um, I recently discovered an artist. Uh, he goes by False Knees and he does weekly streams on Twitch and uh, kind of become a part of his little community full of tons of cool people. Uh, and anyway, he does bird comics. Um, another wildlife, it's not just birds. But, uh, I drew this during one of his streams one day. Um, so it's largely inspired by him. These are frigate birds or frigate frigate? I don't know. But they're big ass birds. Sort of. Um, at least this guy has like a big ol' throat thing that they use for mating calls. <laughs> and she likes it. She's into it. Um, I don't know where this one came from. I guess I was just doodling one day. Uh, I did something back here and it didn't work out, so I colored over it with acrylic paint. Um, and my favorite pen, the Rotring Isograph 3.0. Or point three oh, I don't know. Um, draws really well on top of acrylic, so that was enjoyable. Um, the little fish, he's kind of like swimming under the desert floor, because that makes sense. Uh, yep. Yeah. And maybe like phases of the moon, not phases, but positioning. I don't know. Just, just drawing shapes. No big deal. Here's my little H-E-B Crackle comic that I did recently. Um, this was also inspired by False Knees. Uh, we were talking about Grackles in the uh, stream chat one day, and I was like, I should do a comic about Grackles at our local grocery store because that's just, it just has to be done. Uh, also kind of inspired by um, all this quarantining stuff going on, our grocery stores close early. So uh, when it's still sort of light outside, uh, the store closes. Granted, um, in all reality, when the store closes, there are employees inside and they're stocking shelves. But, uh, that's neither here nor there, because these guys are ready to party. So they do. Now, this is a lot of fun. I fiddled with perspective here a little bit. Um, I'm not too sure how well I nailed it, but it's convincing enough. Um, I really liked this frame. I liked doing all these little bird silhouettes. Uh, and I also really like drawing these fruits on the stand. And all the details of the beer and wine shelves. I was really proud of this one. 
I think this is probably my favorite piece that I've done in a really long time. Just cause kind of captures the essence of what's going on here right now. And then my final two pages here. Um, I was walking around, walking the dog one day recently, and I uh, heard this poem on the radio by Chesla Malos um, called A Song on the End of the World. Um, the woman on this radio, radio segment was talking about walking around in the mountains and um, noticing how empty things are, things that are normally at least mildly populated where she lives, uh, just completely shut down. It's like a ghost town. Uh, and she said that it reminded her of this poem. Uh, and I wanted to remember that, so I just kind of drew little scenes from parts of the poem and then pasted the poem on top of it. Uh, mostly watercolor. This is definitely pencil. Um, yeah, like some of these I actually did on other paper and then cut it out and pasted it in. Uh, just cuz. I don't know. Cuz I wanted to. Oh yeah. That's the end. And next, I'm gonna start on this guy. Uh, this one has a bit more girth to it. I made sure to put more paper in it this time because it didn't feel like this was quite big enough. But, again, I, I do like to make my own sketchbooks because I know the paper that I like. And, I don't know, it's just, it feels a little more organic, maybe, to, to create your own book. And it's fun. It's also fun to, to stitch together a sketchbook. Like, it's not perfect, but it definitely lays flat. And we like it when it lays flat. Yeah. It even has a little bookmark. I don't know if I'll keep this around. But. Maybe. We'll see. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, and I'll see you next time.